milk in our goats. Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. It is July 1st at 11 o'clock in the morning. We are on our way to pick up our new family members and we've just gone through Santa Barbara. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to vomit. I'm so excited. But I think I externalize excitement a little differently. It's beautiful out. It's 67 degrees. We are in a rental van. We've got hay. Hey. Uh, we're headed to Horse Feather Ranch which is where we're buying our pygora. I will attach a link to Horse Feather Ranch below. <laughs> They've graciously agreed to help us do a little bit of hands-on training when we get there. So we're going to trim some hooves and we're going to learn how to do a FAMCHA test and just general kind of body maintenance for the girls. We also are hoping to get a little bit of a tour because there's quite a few babies right now that are frolicking amongst the ranch fields. So that's super exciting. Baby lambs and baby, baby everythings. We started communicating with Horse Feather Ranch about three months ago, just uh, right about when quarantine started, which was the beginning of March. And we've always been really excited about goats. We're lucky enough to actually do some hands-on training at a goat ranch in Hawaii with Bobby's parents. They were so excited to join us on the goat raising journey that pretty much every Christmas and every birthday since that, we've been getting goat stuff. Goat books. <laughs> goat socks, goat shirts, goat signs, goat stickers. Everybody's been excited. Quarantine really gave us the chance to push that forward a little bit because we will now have time to take care of animals and you know working nine to nine in the production industry is not really conducive to having a ranch life. We're gonna get a little side hustle going with our goats, make a little goat soap, make a little goat cheese. The goats that we've selected are an actually a, quite a special breed, not super rare, but uh, harder to find. They're Pygora, which is a pygmy Angora goat cross. They have some of the cashmere that Angora goats have, but they have the size of the pygmy, which also is the hardiness of the pygmy goats. Pygmy goats are notorious for being uh, sometimes difficult mothers in terms of having lots of babies and having difficulty in actually giving birth. Pygoras benefit from the Angora bloodline and they actually have a bit easier time with being moms. In terms of ease of ownership, I think it's, they're a little bit easier, but hey, I, I don't know, I've never had them. Another thing that's great about them is they only get to be about 65 pounds, so you can pick them up. That appealed to me because we do live in a high fire zone and I know Bobby doesn't like to hear about me evacuating my animals all the time, but that is a thing that I thought about because if you have a goat that's 200 pounds, you can't exactly put them in the back of a truck and just drive away. So these get, girls are only 65 pounds. Yeah, I'm super looking forward to putting them on a leash and walking them down the street like a little puppy. We've been looking for different sources for Pygora and there are a couple of different breeders, but these guys are located in Arroyo Grande. Fortunately, it's very close for us. So I'm very excited. I've been dreaming about goats since we went to the surfing goat dairy. I think we've been excited to start our homesteading a little more seriously and this will be a really huge step. These will be the kits that we have. Ready for having kits? Your life will forever change after today. Yeah. Starting today. Starting today. So future Colleen, this is past Colleen saying, I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I'm looking forward to it. So will I look back on this and think, boy, that was naive. <laughs> I'm gonna sign off yeah, on this one. How, how excited are you about today? Blah, so excited. Blah, blah. So excited. I could hardly sleep last night.
Hi guys. What is that? That's a dinosaur. What? The, um, the boys drum and the girls... The girls drum and the boys, boys. kind of grunt. Yeah. What? And he's free. Uh-oh. She's not happy. What? A petting zoo back here. And we just left our Horse Feather Ranch. Wonderful people. And now we are starting the three hour trek home. Hi guys! <laughs> you guys okay back there? Hi! Yeah. Still a little nervous. Still not sure if we're amazing, but we're gonna show them we're amazing. You might have noticed that this is a lot of animals for this small van and, and that wasn't the plan. Enterprise really screwed up on my reservation here. Not only did they give away the van I rented, but they also sent me to two different lots that they said had my van. I rented the largest cargo van they carried, but this is what I had to settle with is all the cargo vans had been rented by Amazon to meet the pandemic shopping at home demand. I did however buy the $34 insurance just in case something bad happened inside. I gave him that $34. Let's pull this out of here. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Ta-da! Like, not bad. That worked pretty well. Doesn't look like anything leaked. 
So let's clean this up. So clean this out from top to bottom. We put it back to, you know, good condition. Wiped everything down with disinfectant wipes. You know, we could have left it the way it was, but that's not the way I like to do things. Even though Inter Enterprise kind of screwed me to start this journey, but the day that started crappy, ended good. So, yeah. Yep. So we're back home and let's get this vehicle back and then let's have real food. Yeah. Let's have real food. Okay. Hey, everybody, meet our little herd. Four little goats and two alpacas. One of the alpacas is three or four, and the other one's only about six months. Little guy there. And then two of these are full grown, and two of these are nine months old. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But you can see they're not very big. Nope. Still very scared of us. Say hi, everybody. Hi. That's a good size comparison. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, don't be scared. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi. You're gonna be my friends, damn it. <laughs> well, they're still scared of us. Day one. Confident firm strokes. There you go. Good boy, Jack. Good boy, Jack. That was a very good catch. Yeah. It's interesting, he's trying to keep himself between you and everybody. Yeah. He's a good guard. He's a very good guard. Go crazy for you. It's okay. Go. So this is just the first morning here. Colleen fed them about an hour ago. And I just brought up some goat pellets for them to eat. And I could only get number... Let's see here. I just don't know their names yet. But I only get one of them to eat out of my hand. Number 54, I think. 54, yeah, 54. Yeah, you over there. You ate out of my hand. So now I'm just chilling here, trying to let them get used to me. What did you do? I picked everything that I could see that looked suspicious. And then what do you have there? Looks like dripper line to me. Oh yeah, no, I pulled up a big black snake. <laughs> That's the last of it. it. Was never used. Pristine, filled with ants. But it had rebar in it, and we just wanted to remove it so the girls don't have a chance to hurt themselves on it. Yeah, no skewered goats. Where should I put it? Where do you want them to poop? Alpaca love to poop where other alpaca. So Horse Feather Ranch graciously let us take some poop, and now we're going to put it to try and encourage. Jack and the baby to uh, use it where I will have an easier time cleaning it. Oh, it's like alpaca poop. Gross. Ta -da! There's our poop pile. So my garden this year should do wonderfully. Just making a little ramp for the girls. Nobody's gonna twist their little hoofies. That's the plan. Okay, this is an exciting moment. I think we finished up the majority of the chores we had to do. We saw a few little things around here like protecting the water pipes and stuff. But we're about to let the girls out in the pasture for the first time, so... Yay! Here we go! So... I feel like a person whose kid is going to daycare for the first time, and I'm afraid that something's gonna happen. But you know what? You just have to let them go and be their little own little creatures and don't be a helicopter mom. So you try not to be a helicopter mom. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi! Oh, it's the Esther time. Do you want to explore the pasture? Hi guys! Hey guys! 
coming out. Just wanted to thank all of you who have been following along with us on our journey, and a real special thank you to all of our friends who helped make this dream a reality for us. It took a lot of work to get here, but it was well worth it in the end. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I just got my shoes! Oh, oh f We've been looking for different sources for oh look ponies do you see the horse butts i see horse butts <laughs> heard me talking how's the drive been so far Bob? good i think we're in the beginning of the jerry buckheimer intro for movies Need the tree to be struck by lightning. Yeah.